is going to be uh, the most challenging thing in my life, to be quite honest with you. I, I, don't, I don't know how I'm going to make it through the week. That's why I wanted to do this. Candid, often raw, and obviously exhausted. We saw a different side of Dallas Police Chief David Brown today. We certainly did, opening up about the job and stresses and how to move on after the tragedy, clearly. Uh, our Gilma Avalos tonight with an interesting story about a man who has literally trained every police chief in Texas. After tragedy rocked his police department and the city of Dallas, many praise police chief David Brown's composure under pressure. Today, a candid, admittedly spent chief did not hold back. We're asking cops to do too much in this country. From the stresses on the job. Uh, to every societal failure, we put it off on the cops to solve. Not enough mental health funding that the cop handled. Here in Dallas, we got a loose dog problem. Let's have the cops chase loose dogs. To the salaries officers take home. Our officers have been leaving because we're the lowest paid in the area. When you seek a job as a police officer, it's one where you know the dangers that are going to be in front of you. But one thing is to know them intellectually. Another thing is to experience them emotionally. Professor and law enforcement expert Dr. Alex Del Carmen has trained thousands of officers during his career. And I think he was very honest. He was very candid. He was very sincere. The chief called on protesters to step in. We're hiring. Uh, get off that protest line and, and, and put an application in. And also demanded leaders be held accountable. Leaders in my position need to put their careers on the line to make sure we do things right not be so worried about keeping their job. With tensions across the country boiling over, Dr. Dol Carmen says the chief aimed to set the tone for an unavoidable discussion. A serious, honest dialogue across the U.S. about what law enforcement really is and what we expect of our law enforcement officers and whether that expectation is humane, is realistic, and is constitutional. Gilma Avalos, CBS 11 News.